You see me? I'm gonna go down. I mean, you can see me, but there we go. What's up guys, Liam here, welcome back to LSJ TV. So the clips that you guys just seen at the start of the video was myself and Ella smashing a session at my beloved UFB. That stands for Ultimate Fitness Birmingham. Get yourself down there, lady. I can show your synced photos. What? Anyway, get yourself down there for a session, ladies and gentlemen. So today we're going to be comparing the two. Training with a buddy, training with a partner, whether it's a loved one or a gym buddy, versus training alone. We're going to be training alone today. We trained with someone else at the start. You see the comparison? Let me know your thoughts. Let's get a discussion going in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Before we get started in today's video, please drop it a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new, and thank you all so, so much for all of your support. So many my protein orders have been coming through. Every single enter, every single enter, every single order that you guys do with code LSJ at checkout will get you an entry into the monthly giveaway. If you use the link and the code, the link is in the description box. It's in my uh, uh, Instagram stories. It's in my Instagram bio. Uh, where else? Loads of places. Use my link and my code and you get two entries. Why? Because I get a little bit of kickback from that, you know, a bit of commission. So if you use the link and the code, if you use the code, it makes me look good. But if you use the code and the link at the same time, I actually get commission from that. So you scratch my back, I scratch yours. Two entries if you do the, the, the link and the code. One if you just use the code. Appreciate all your support because it, it really does mean a lot. Like everything that I get to do for a living is um, because of people like you using the code. So... Thank you so much, LSJ at checkout, and let's get to shoulder pressing. Personally, I'm quite used to training alone and I feel like a place in a place like UFB that's kind of Alien it's definitely not alien to, to me Obviously I used to train in the home gym more often than not with my old man But if he wasn't there or I trained during the day because I was filming or anything like that I was on my own right so for a lot of my kind of training career Even when I was at uni kind of doing bits here and there more often than not I was on my own because my mates would always bail right But I would just go because I enjoyed it. It was something cool. It was something fun made a few friends at the gym that kind of thing Going alone, though, not a weird thing for, for me to do. Not a weird thing for me to kind of get my head around. Whereas I know people that have been training for longer than I've been alive, you know, and they're so used to training with someone, it's almost bizarre to them to not. Whereas I feel like now my experience is very 50-50. Sometimes I'm with Sai, sometimes I'm with a random person that I'm filming, or sometimes I'm just on my own, you know? Or sometimes I'm with Ella. You know, you get the gist, right? Sometimes I'm on my own, sometimes I'm not. I'd say it's fairly 50-50 at the minute anyway. Um, but training alone is something that I feel has its time and its place. I think people need that time, especially if you go to the gym for kind of therapy, if you like. And I certainly... I can't speak for everyone, but I know that I'll speak for a lot of people watching this video right here, right now, that you go to the gym because it's almost like therapy for you. You go and you let out that frustration and you go and you let out that anger or whatever it is. You just take time away from your daily life, whether it's half an hour, 45 minutes, an hour, and a half, hour however long you go to the gym for. You know, everyone differs. I train for about an hour and a half, personally. At the minute, anyway. Um... But anyway, that's not the point I'm trying to make. It's like, if you if you go, for a lot of people, it can be that alone time. They crave that alone time, and I respect that. I understand that. Everybody needs that, and it's important to take that time if it's something that you you want, that you require. Um, and if the gym can give that to you, then great. It certainly does me at times, and I know it is today. So um, we're actually working up to 70, 80, and 90 kilos, and an unexpected um, PB. A few things have gone wrong lately in my life. 
um, particularly um, with my wallet being stolen and getting a parking ticket. So I've got some frustration to, to let out today, you know. Dinner is on the way, dear. Dinner is on the way. You are? <laughs> Nothing. Can you stop distracting me with your cute little laugh, please? I'm trying to focus. I've got a video to film. Thank you. I'm also sat here in a hoodie with a hat on and I'm also sat here in a hoodie, obviously with the AC not on. One, because it doesn't work and two, because it's loud. And it's f***ing boiling. My God. Then film it, you silly because you've only got like 30, 40 minutes. I'll be quick. I just realised I've filmed this entire thing and I took like two or three takes to film that first voice note. <laughs> I, uh, I I won't be long. Take it off, take it off, take it off, you little s. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta do as she says, you know. Uh, flipping, boiling, man. Oh, can you tell? Sweating. Anyway, very, very happy with that. We pushed 110 kilos above my head for the first time ever. That's the first time I've pushed above 100 kilos above my head. Was there a jump? Yeah, it was a push press, but flipping out, like, I only weigh 80 kilos. That's class. Held 100 kilos above my head for, what, 12 seconds? Something like that. Go back and count. Count with me. Luckily, I was recording on, on my phone because flipping heck, I didn't press, didn't press play on, on, on here. So, like I say, unfortunately, we live in a world where if it ain't on camera, then it didn't happen. So thankfully, we got that. 115. Oh, hold on. <laughs> she doesn't know I'm. Uh, she doesn't know I'm recording this. Or maybe she does, and she's just chosen to send that. Okay, I've already listened to that one. This is mid mid vlog, baby. You know, like chill out with the with the peeing on the voice notes. Okay. I personally feel that that is worthy of an entire video. I will do that at some stage, right? Potentially over the next week or two, because I've got my own videos planned, kind of set out already when I'm going to do them, um, and that doesn't really fit into the schedule. However, <laughs> I'll uh, I'll get it done because I'm. I, I, I want to explain my kind of philosophy when it comes to shoulder pressing because I think it's fair to say I'm I'm all right at it. You know, you know, I, you might out bench me, you might out bicep curl me, but challenge me to a body weight to strength ratio challenge in shoulder press, and I'll do pretty freaking well. I weigh 80 kilos, and that was 110. 
And without all the volume before, I definitely would have got the 115 kilos, 100%. I might even go for 120 and just really emphasize the jump just to kind of hold 120 kilos above my head. I think that'd be pretty freaking cool. So anyway, my point is I did this alone today, right? I had some frustration to let out. Like I say, the ticket and the, the whole wallet fiasco, I'll explain that in another video. If you follow me on Instagram, you kind of know what I'm talking about. It's, it's, it's not ideal. But I chose to, and actually today quite looked forward to doing that alone, right? Yes, there's people like Fresco was in the gym and I filmed some UFB content. I got done what I needed to get done. But I had my time to kind of just focus on the session and I felt a lot better afterwards. But I don't feel like everyone gets that same feeling. A lot of people, maybe, like Sai, Sai's a good example of this. Sai doesn't really like training alone, right? Because he's spent his entire life, his entire career training around people like Dorian Yates. And like, you know, he's around strong, big guys that are respected within the industry, right? I, on the other hand, not so much. Although I've trained with some pretty big names in my time. I think it's fair to say. TikTokers, YouTubers, stuff like that. Sat in Nando's at the same time as Christian Guzman once. <laughs> now what she said. Sorry. She's still paying. Stop paying on the voice notes. You're ruining my vlog. I will be not very long. Okay. I. Oh, well, I'll be as quick as I can. I'm not sure I understand. What's going on with this lately? Anyone else get that with their Apple Watch? But anyway, comparing the two, there's a time and a place for both. If you really need that mental kind of release and that mental break, if you like, train alone. It can help. I actually trained in dead silence once in the home gym. There was no one else there. I can control the music. It was just me. Obviously, there was music in the background at UFB, right? Alternatively, training with someone has its time and its place as well really pushing you that extra kind of mile to get that extra inch even to get that extra muscle growth that we are all going to the gym for what i'm certainly going to the gym for at this point in time anyway that's definitely my focus regaining the muscle that i lost because of my concussion yeah i know oh, lame you haven't mentioned your concussion yeah i got another update for you on on that coming in the very near future as well anyway if you need that time alone take it if you need that person there, find someone to train with, man, because you're not always going to be able to get the same quality, the same intensity, the same everything if you're on your own. You go through the motions on your own. I had like five minute rest times at times in between these shoulder presses, you know. Other times I had 30 seconds because I was just like, sod it, I'm going to go straight in. But that is my own intensity. Whereas if you're relying on someone else or you're going to ruin someone else's session if you take that extra minute's break, do you know what I mean? If you've got someone else's session to ruin, you've got that responsibility, you don't take that extra minute rest because you just get on with it and you crack on. And that ultimately can lead to a better session. There's a time and a place for both. And I really do quite enjoy both. Especially at UFB. Pure Gym, not so much. No offence, Pure Gym. It's just the one that we go to. It's rubbish, man. But anyway, that is it. Quality session has gone down. The rest of the push day has gone down. Lateral raises for some fluff. Rear delts, triceps, the lot. It was a good one. Let me know your thoughts on this topic in the comment section down below, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have not already, please drop the video a like because we're a few minutes in now. And if you haven't subscribed, we're probably going to get along, you and I, if you're still here. So subscribe, stick around. You can always unsubscribe. It's free. It's not a Netflix subscription. It's not Amazon Prime. This is free. Put in this. I've got a hair in my eye. Uh, anyway. I'm putting this out there for free, so you don't want to subscribe, don't subscribe. But if you want to subscribe, please do it. It's free. Turn on the notification bell and all that kind of stuff. Use LSJ at checkout on all things my protein. It'll get you a discount. Thank you all so much for your support lately. I really, really, really appreciate it. Certain opportunities, you know, they just keep arising. And that's because of the momentum that we have built on this channel. The momentum that we have gained over the past like couple of years. This series has done its job, and I think it's now time for a new one. I've got a name in mind, I've got something in mind. I know what I'm going to do, it's just finding the time to, to do it. Thank you so much for watching. Together we will grow. I hate it when people say finding the time to do it. I'll find the time. 
I'll see you in the next one.